Otto, do you look at a guy like Andy Ruiz and look at what he did and what people thought was impossible in beating Anthony Joshua? Do you look at Andy Ruiz as a, an inspiration of uh, some sort? Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, he showed that it's possible, and we see that a lot of times before, and he showed it again. And all these these good fighters are going to get beat, and they've been beat, and it's going to get beat in the future, and hopefully on Saturday night too. Have you had any interaction with Andy uh, at all, or have you had not had the chance? No, I haven't had a chance. I never met him or talked to him or anything. But you do watch that fight and kind of picture yourself, uh, you and Tyson, kind of in, in the ring and, and look at that fight as a proof that uh, these guys that seem uh, unbeatable can be beat? Yeah. As a fighter, you know that anybody can get beat and it can happen at any time. And like I said, it happened before, it's going to happen again. So I wasn't surprised, but it's still a big inspiration that Andy did it and I'm looking to do the same thing. I know you said you don't care about the doubters, but if there's somebody out there and they are saying to themselves, you know, they're asking themselves, why can Otto beat Tyson Fury? What do you say to them? What, how, how convince them that, that you have the talent, the skills, the ability to win this fight? Yes, look at the other fights. Andy Reese, Joshua, you know, Mike Tyson, he wasn't supposed to get beat. He got beat from uh, Buster Douglas. You know, we had a Swedish guy, Ingemar Johansson, 60 years ago, he came over to New York, beat Floyd Patterson. He was a huge underdog, and he beat him. And it can happen at any time. So tune in and don't blink.